Well, I've been inspired by a person's video. Her name is Rose Wildsmith. And she's been inspired by a, a, a textile artist, Shelley Rhodes. And it's how to make this fabulous fabric. And I've used napkins. So basically what you do is, I'll show you a bit of the sewing. You sew a grid across your napkin. Other paper could do. She used, I think she used kitchen roll paper. But I thought I'd try napkin because I have plenty of them and I wanted to see how they would respond and I'm delighted. Look at this lovely lacy fabric. Isn't that gorgeous? And what I've done with it is I've cut a little bit out and I've used it on this tag. So you can see the lovely texture. I'll show you how I make the tag later on. It's gorgeous, I'm just so delighted. And I've left it hanging off a bit as well. Oh, just so pleased with it. I'm going to use this again and again. So it's a very simple technique. I'll show you how it's done. Keep watching. Oh, and I'll link down below to Rose Wildsmith's video. Um, it's very interesting what she does. So, um, these are three napkins. I started off with a large one, so ages to sew. And what you can't see, I'll show you the back. You can see the, I've sewn in squares. It took ages. <laughs> so I did a smaller one. I really like the one she did where she did um, going diagonally. So I've done one of those as well. So we'll see how they are when I uh, attack them with water. So basically, you wet the napkin. And then, once you let the water soak in a few minutes, you start picking out the paper between the stitches. Now, it's nice to do it as imperfectly as it allows. And just work over. Now, you don't have to do the complete thing. I'm going to try and do as much as I can. See what I end up with. But you can see what's happening there. It looks great once it's dried. I love this. The result's great. So, yeah, I don't want to do it perfectly. Having nails helps, but you can use a pair of tweezers. I just keep going. So here it is once it's dry, and it's ever so strong. The stitching holds, holds it all together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit off, and I'm going to attach it to this paper and make a tag with it. And I'm going to cut it roughly, I think. I'm going to need my good scissors, unfortunately. I don't like using my good scissors for paper, but needs must. <laughs> and I'm going to glue it down somehow. Ooh, like that. Shall I zoom in a little bit? Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Are we too light? I think we are. Let's turn that down a bit. Okay, <laughs> it's because we've got all these light colours. Let's put that there. Look, it's just like lace. Um, so I'm going to glue this down somehow. <laughs> I think I'm going to use PVA glue. And then I'm going to do some gesso on top of it because I just want the texture. Right, so I'm going to dry that and then I'm going to trim it and then I'm going to apply some gesso on top. So I've trimmed it and I've left that dangling because I quite like it. Now I'm going to come in with some gesso. Oh look, look at those numbers. I'm going to have to keep those, aren't I? <laughs> oh look. Oh, a couple of pages of numbers there. Lovely. That's the trouble with these catalogues. Too good. Right, gesso. I just wanted to see what it looked like with gesso on it. I think the ink on the writing is running a little. I rather like that. It's a nice texture. Do you know what? I think I'm going to use this for texturing things. I love that. Oh, nice. What do you think? Oh, look 
at that. It's so raggedy and distressed and rough. I love it. Put this up there. And I can dribble paint on it now and oh, I quite like it just as white. Hmm, that's an interesting result. I'm going to dry that. And now I'm going to squirt some of this paint on. Mm. I have a water thing nearby, so I might do some dribbling. I don't think I will actually. Or will I? Oh, I can't decide. But, oh, I love that. Oh, I've got some nice splurts happening there. And let's dry those. I am so delighted with that. I'm going to use this a lot, I know it. That is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to turn that into a tag, into a tag now. Okay, a whole host of possibilities here. I might go with this feather actually. Oh yes, I like that. Oh yeah, I'm going to pop that on there. I'm going to build up more texture underneath it, turn it into a bit of a cluster. Mm -hmm. I think I will do some stitching. I may not do it all round, but I shall do some. Maybe I'll just do it on the cluster actually. Let me think about that. So oh, there we are, I really love that. I love having this bit hanging off the bottom. Love the texture, fantastic. So, give this a go yourself. I've got these to play with. I'm dying to try that one and this one with the gold on. That'll be lovely to use. So, Yes, very interesting technique. Okay, so I've played with these. I've decided to follow Rose's example where she didn't do them perfectly and I do rather like that. It's very pretty. I did that on the bird one as well. I also squirted it with a little bit of uh, my messy paint. I just try and uniform it a bit. Oh, I love it. This is the diamond shaped one that Rose did. I really like that. And, and this one you've seen. This is much lighter. I was thinking of all the lovely ideas that you can do. You could, I could use some of the fancy patterns on my sewing machine. And I was thinking of doing like a circle, radiating out. I've got so many ideas that have formed in my mind from doing this. I'm hoping it inspires you to have a go and try out some of these ideas. Let me know if you do, if you like this. And please press the uh, like button to let the algorithm know to put this out to people. But what a great project. I've really enjoyed that and it sparked off lots of ideas for me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye.